Let's go! Hi everyone, I am here with my April monthly makeup basket and I am going to try this month to use a lot of the products that I bought recently from clearance hauls and things like that and also pull out a couple things that maybe I haven't used in a while. The first items that I'm going to use are the Revlon Age Defying foundations and I'm using golden beige today. I feel like this color matches me pretty decently. So far I have to say that I think that these foundations are very sheer compared to like the Colorstay Whipped foundation or and even the regular Colorstay. So right off the bat I like Revlon Colorstay Whipped foundation a lot more. These are for days where you feel like your skin is good and you don't feel like you need that much coverage I guess. Uh, you can still see old scars, old acne scars come through the foundation. I'm not sure I'm trying to show you, but on my forehead, you can still see them coming through with this foundation. Uh, I don't think this foundation would be good for somebody with oily skin. I have oily combination skin, and by the afternoon, I can see oil coming through my T-zone area. So that's just my two cents on these. I think I'll be fine using these for the rest of the month. As far as color match is concerned, I, I like them. For powders, I'm gonna be using, again, the Max Your Select NC30 to set, and then the brand new uh, Studio Fix foundation that I just got that I showed in my Mac haul. This is an NC35. Used it a couple times, really like it. And I'm also going to use my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And I used this today, actually. I It's growing on me. I think when I first got it, I didn't really like it that much. But if I know I'm not going to do any flash photography, then I guess I really don't mind using this. As far as my cheeks are concerned, I grabbed this CoverGirl and Oil of Olay blush. It's a cream blush. I have that on today as well. And I'm not really used to using a cream blush, so this is going to be interesting for me. I'm not sure if I'll be able to use this blush for the entire month of April. Maybe using this blush for this month, I will get better with my technique or something. I also grabbed another cream blush, and this is the NYC Blushable Cream Stick in South Saint Seashell. And I just picked this up at the dollar store um, because it was frankly only a dollar. So it's just this thing that you twist up. And again, when I tested this out, I used a stippling brush, and it gave me a very similar effect to this CoverGirl one right here. I also grabbed my Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink because, well, this is one of my favorite, favorite blushes of all time. Even though it's a drugstore, I even prefer this over some of my high-end blushes. I know some people don't like this. Uh, I, I use this as a highlight, so if you're expecting like a highlight color, then I think you would really enjoy this shade of Wet n Wild blush. Primers, I grabbed, again, the MAC Prep and Prime. This is like a very shiny base, but I feel like it gives me radiant looking skin, so I like that about it. And then I grabbed this Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation Primer. I use this today, and I feel like this gives you very radiant looking skin. It's a little bit shiny for me, but maybe that's good if you're going for that very glowy look, to have some sort of glowy, dewy look underneath your foundation. I also grabbed this L'Oreal Hip, what do you call it? This L'Oreal Hip Eyeshadow Duo in Darling, and I'm wearing that today. And I'm actually wearing that on top of my Physicians Formula Trio Shimmer Strip in Glam Eyes Brown. I really like this. I am using all three colors, actually. I used the gold for the inner corner, I used the brown for like the outer corner, and then I used the black here as a eyeliner. And then I set it with a couple of these L'Oreal Hip powders, and then I even grabbed, which I'm going to use in my April monthly basket, the Bundle Monster Travel Kit. And I used a couple of the eyeshadows, pink and brown actually, and layered those over my eyeshadows. Well, I actually am wearing a lot of eye makeup, but I don't think it's coming across in the camera, but I guess, I guess it's a good thing. I don't know. As far as bronzers go, one of my friends here asked me what I thought about, oops, the brush fell, 
asked me what I thought about this Wet n Wild bronzer in Princess, so I thought I would give it a try out. I didn't wear it on my cheeks today, but I used it, again, with my eye look, I used it as a transition color. This is too bronzy, I mean, not bronzy, this is too orangey on my face, on my skin tone, to use as a bronzer, so that's why I had to find an alternative use for this, which is going to be eyeshadow. As far as my bronzer is concerned, I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Happy Booster again, yes, for the third month because, again, I'm just in love with this kit. I use the dark brown hearts up here for my bronzing. I use the light ones here for contouring, and then I use this pink heart here as a highlight. So I really love this palette, and I was very skeptical of Physician's Formula because for some reason I didn't like it before. Uh, I think it's kind of an expensive drugstore brand, but I thought this was really worth it. I have heard though that the new, some of the new Happy Booster like loose pearl things, loose hearts are not that good. So just be aware of that. And then as far as my eye stuff goes, I'm using three of the same mascaras before, so I'll just list them quickly. The L'Oreal Volume Shocking. The Maybelline Lash Discovery, the All May Get Up and Grow, and then I added a new one to the basket, and this has got a really cool looking brush head. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion. I really like it so far. I am wearing all four mascaras today. I like to wear a lot of different mascaras. Then I grabbed this Stila Kajol Eyeliner in Topaz, and I originally got this in a kit from Sephora, and I always wondered, like, what can I do with a salmon color eyeliner? And then I think I saw somebody's video saying, if you want to brighten up your eyes, instead of using a white eyeliner, you can use, like, a skin flesh-toned eyeliner to give yourself more of an awake look without looking too fake. So I have that on today. Not sure if it's looking really fake or what, but let me know if you think it does. Uh, maybe I'll stop using it. Um, and then as far as my eyebrows are concerned, I'm using the Wet n Wild palette uh, eyebrow kit and the MAC Pencil and Linger. I use them both today. I almost forgot to tell y'all about the lip products that I was going to put into my basket. I went and grabbed my Tarte Sweet Lip Surgeon. So far, I really love this. I have this on today. It is a very nudey, my lips but better color. Um, I've been reaching for this ever since I tested it out for the April Makeup Basket. Loving it. Then I also grabbed a Milani Lip Flash pencil in a different color. Remember I got these for 75% off. Show a quick little swatch on my hand. Uh, so far I really like these. I most likely will not wear these that often, but I just thought I should throw something into the mix. I can see myself using the Tarte Lip Surgeons every day. So the bottom one is the one that I was using in previous months, and the top one is the brand new one that I'm going to use this month. It is a uh, quite a bit more pigmented and darker, and they're both metallic-y and shimmery. I also have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. Bye.